Good evening and welcome to the Tuesday, August 23rd regular meeting of the Clay Township Board. We'll call the meeting to order at 6 o'clock. Uh, if we could rise for the pledge. Yes, it is. <laughs> what do we do? To the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Yeah, should be over here. Yeah, what, what happened? We got switched back. <laughs> it's all right. You're just trying to keep us uh, guessing. Alert. Okay. Uh, no item three. No. Item four, uh, approval of minutes from our June 15th special board meeting. I move for adoption, Mr. Chairman. Second. Those in favor? Aye. Aye. Carries. Minutes from June 28th board meeting. I move for adoption. Second. Those in favor? Aye. Aye. Public comments? Hearing none. Action items. Carmel fire buffs and fire department museum maintenance projects. Coach or Mr. Martin? Yeah, what would what do you guys like to you, I got the list here if you need that and yeah, that way if they want to ask you something They've got a copy of that yeah. of the list Yeah, just go to the mic yeah. and Just tell us your we know who you are, but just tell us your name and 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 what you're here for James K. Martin, Jr., yes. here for the uh, board meeting on the Carmel Fire Buffs project. I made a list up of different articles, I mean, things we wanted to do. One is new concrete out in front of the station. It's all what's there now, been there since 1950, and uh, it's breaking up and settling. And Got some bids, but it's pretty high. It was sixteen thousand two hundred and seventy-five dollars for the concrete. Then we wanted to paint the inside, and uh, I always painted it for myself, but it's just getting too much. I can't get it in band ladders anymore, so I had a quote. I'm a painter, $2,400 to do that. And then on the outside, um, there's few things got to be fixed up, caulking done, and some brickwork, and some uh, tucking in some cracks and concrete. That was estimate at 3000 then the lights inside are just old and uh, don't make much light. So I went to Lowe's and looked up uh, some new lighting and it's the uh, little tubes, but they're brighter and, and everything. And uh, it takes 12 lights and uh, they came to $480 and bulbs for them the 48, they also came to uh, $480. Then the back building, there will be extra trucks we use. At, uh, it needs a lot of repair, it needs doors, basically, and some repair on the outside, cosmetic, and um, that was $10,000. Then a furnace the, the, those heaters been out for a long time they're not the original ones we put them in there when we first took it over for the fire buffs but uh, the, the law wastes heat and we got estimates of a new furnace and uh, put in that that would heat both sides and take care of the facility that that was six thousand two hundred eighty seven Six thousand two hundred ninety-seven. Then the furnace for the living quarters, uh, which is downstairs, we got a quote on that: a furnace and air condition, and both of them together run six thousand forty forty-five dollars. Then as I was 
said a while ago of the brick outside and the block, concrete is cracking. We need to chip that cement out and they put new cement back in before we paint. And then on front of the building, this this brick that needs to be tucked because this brick's starting to come loose. You know, after since 1950, they're, they're starting to come loose, and we don't we want to. And I, I did I got, got a quote on that. It was thirteen hundred fifty dollars. Then we had three windows. We replaced the windows when we started years ago but the, of course the warning's out on them the seal was broke and the sweating inside and the water running down inside of them and you can't see out anymore that's seven hundred and fifty dollars how many total windows do you have i'm sorry how many total windows do you have uh, was it eight four four no one eight eight Sorry, go ahead. Then, uh, I'm sorry, there's a little to the front, but front, front. Oh, yeah, okay. Be 10. 10 total. Uh, then, then uh, our washer and dryer has been there for years, and and uh, we wore the tiles, stuff we wipe the trucks off with, and the uh, horses still works, but it leaks. <laughs> but uh, I uh, got a bid on them. Four thousand dollars for washer and dryer, and that's total came to fifty-eight, three seventy-four, fifty-eight thousand three hundred seventy-four dollars. Yeah, I didn't. I forgot to put it in the hot tub. Do we get a hot tub with that too? <laughs> <laughs> No, I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> well, you might as well put it on the list. You know? <laughs> no. Here, here's my thought, Doug and gentlemen. Um, I think you've done really well on, on your pricing. I think when you get into it, I think it's going to creep up. Um, I guess I, I would make I would move that we appropriate eighty thousand. A not to exceed amount of eighty thousand for some contingency, um, and I think I don't think it makes sense to do. I think it makes sense to do all of the windows if you're doing them. I, I, I mean, right. I really do. We got some uh, also some concrete work needs to be done in the back, and because uh, water is coming down through it and leaking into the walls, we need to uh, pour those out. I mean, back. The street department said they would help to do that. But um, I, I would prefer, and you guys can do what you want, but I, would, I, I know some of this you guys have probably figured in doing it yourself. I think for mm -hmm. liability reasons, you should hire out about all of it. Mm -hmm. I really do. So I'm sorry, I, 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 I move that we appropriate $80,000 for the fire project to come out of the fire fund. And I second that. Can, I, um, can we take it out of the rainy day fund? I, I, the reason the reason I'm saying this is I'm gonna well you know what never mind it's fine it's fine it's fine because you'll come to us later with what you I'm gonna do additional appropriation so move, it doesn't make any difference yeah, yeah. But we, I, yeah we'll just yeah that's fine I think since it's a fire station it should come I, okay be funded think, out of the fire fund okay that, that's I fine. agree that's I fine. agree with that's that. fine all right I move we appropriate eighty thousand dollars out of the fire fund and I second that all those in favor aye, aye. We thank you very, very much. Well, you're welcome. It's going to help us out a lot. <laughs> Good. I look forward to seeing it. We're having a lot of people call now. I had two tours today, and uh, it just, we got a lot of busy to keep people coming in. I, I have a uh, people sign when they come in, and I forgot, last weekend they had the uh, beer fest next door to us. And uh, it rained like heck, but we have <laughs> we had over 600 that went through the museum last Saturday. Excellent. So, uh, well, uh, the building should be in good shape. It's only 65 years old. <laughs> <laughs> there already nothing been done. I mean, 
Yeah, really. You helped one time pay this. Yeah. Remember that time Swale was once someplace, he said that you guys scraped the building, cleaned the building to, everybody came here, it was a meeting night, came in, <laughs> we decided we wanted to train, we didn't scrape the building. Oh. What, how, how big is that apron that you got the $16,000? Um, it's 2,300 square feet, but uh, it's about 80, 80 wide and about 30, something like that. 80 feet by 30 feet? I think it's about 30 feet out to the front. 2,400. Is that the entire apron that you're going to replace? Mm-hmm. Dig, 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 take the old one up, dig the old one up, and... Uh, Pack it, put it down, new gravel, pack it. Because it's concrete, it's black top, but it's got concrete below it. And it, it's just all falling apart. And the bit I got, uh, they're going to tear all that out and uh, re put it back in the, with the gravel and then concrete it. We decided we wanted concrete instead of black top. Concrete holds up better. And, I know it cracks, but they're gonna put five inch. Uh, the thing you got here, they're gonna put five inch. Uh, replace it with five inch depth of and rebar and, and it reinforced for forty or four thousand psi. Okay. So it's five inches of concrete they're gonna put in there with rebar. Oh, I bet. Back in the early fifties, they threw whatever they could get in there. I bet. In the station, they got railroad insanely expensive. Really? What's that? They told me. I've never seen it. What? They got railroad ties? Railroad rails. Train tracks in this concrete inside the station. Oh, wow. So it's actually held up good. There's only one place it's cracked, but the company's coming in and grind it all down and seal up all the cracks and then put epoxy down and uh, put a special oil uh, resistance. And uh, I think we'll, we hadn't picked out the color yet, but I think he, he had some with uh, little black chips, white and red. I think the red to bring out the fire trucks, so. Cool. Mm -hmm. we'll, we can always pick the car out later, but get it going. Thank you very much, we sure Thank appreciate you guys. it. You're very welcome, good luck. Thank you. Uh, information items, Mr. Barbie. Good evening. Uh, don't remember exactly when I was last here. It may have been June. Um, since then, the uh, fire department has moved into the maintenance facility. Um, it is occupied. There's, um, they moved in in July. There's a couple punch items. I understand that they're still working. Nothing insurmountable. There's some landscape to be done that um, really the fire department and city had taken on themselves. So if you recall, there was some landscape that was designed that wasn't really necessary, and that got deleted. But then the, the stone the fire department's uh, working on. Um, Station 44, I wish I could tell you today we were moved into there. Well, I think next month of your meeting time, I'd be very surprised if they're not moved into there. Um, they should be able to move in as early um, as September 1 at this point. I think the likelihood is that they will be a week or two after that just coordinating their move. Uh, but we had some last minute delays that affected access to the building and it was related to uh, site grading with uh, concrete walks and drives. Um, and, you know, not to throw anybody under the bus, but there was more than 10 attempts to get those grades right before we were actually able to pour those uh, those drives and those entrances, and then curing time and all that stuff that goes into effect there. So uh, the contractors have stuck with it and worked through it, um, but until we had the right information, they couldn't do much uh, there. So you, you walk through the building um, outside of some construction dirt and dust that's getting cleaned up um, this week and next, and you know some touch-up paint. It's a finished fire station. Outside landscape still needs to take place. Um, and within this next week, week and a half. Um, and that's been also held up from the paving and concrete happening first. So, um, but department.
department's been through there. They've seen it. They're excited about it. Uh, they're definitely ready to get in there. Uh, I see no reason why they won't be moving in in September unless they choose not to. Thank you, sir. Yep. Excellent. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Uh, our joinder budget workshop is Friday, September 9th at 8 a.m. at Carmel City Hall. Yeah, and I wouldn't get there that early because if you look at the list, they've got other things. To, they got water sewer engineering, and we are number seven, starting with the party permit. So I would say between nine and ten, I would I would get there. Somewhere, I'd probably see around nine. I'm I'm going to be there by nine. So yeah, just want to let you know that. Any financial questions, Paul? I have none. Any comments? None. Any announcements? Yes, I, uh, Paul and I met Wednesday? Yes. Yeah, Wednesday yes, as part of our internal control policy that we went through okay. earlier this summer. And uh, all, this is on the internal control policy. Paul is uh, the member off the board where we meet as the oversight committee to address any shortages or anything we may have. Um, and um, we met for about a half hour where we talked about a lot of just different things. We kind of went over uh, the finances that Debbie and I do during, during it so he understands from that standpoint uh, what, what is all involved. Uh, but, but it went well and um, uh, I think that worked out good with you just stopping in here. Or I still want to come down and meet you at your office so we can, I can see that Kennedy tank. Come on down. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> okay. Me too. Come on. And then you have the the um, budget, 2017 budget hearing is going to be September 27th, and the budget adoption will be October the 11th. And Would it be, be possible for Debbie to put a spreadsheet together, and then we, that way we can all enter in our numbers, and then that way we've got one spreadsheet to work off of um, for our internal negotiations. Okay. Okay. Can she do? Would she mind doing that? Sure, sure, sure. We can do that. Anything else, Doug? No, nothing, nothing at all. Move for adjournment. Um, Mr. Chairman, I move for adjournment. Uh, I will second. We stand adjourned at six seventeen.